Hi guys. All right. So we are back with the last video that I did was a kind of a beginner tutorial on what you should do in the beginning. And if you had already purchased your parcel and you had already placed your house up and your hay shed, your water tower, and then had placed your hay fields, which look like pitchforks, you'll wait until, you know, the hay starts growing around the pitchfork and everything like that, and then you'll be able to pick it, and once you pick it, you can come over to your hay shed, and you can click add, and just keep putting the hay, you know, the haystacks in your hay shed by clicking add, 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 and then when you need to feed your horses, which will feed all the horses that you have in your horse inventory area, you just click on it and hit feed. And every day you'll want to click on your water tower and click use to water all of your horses. So, the last tutorial I was telling you to put up a house after you get your parcel, a hay shed, water tower, and hay field, right? And then some barns if possible. So next would be to get your breeding barn. And this is what the breeding barn looks like right there. It's not going to allow me to build in. Yeah, it is actually. Okay, so there's the breeding barn. And I, do I have enough? Yes. So you would just place it wherever you want and then once it's on rotate once you click the left click mouse button you'll be able to rotate and place it anywhere you want if you don't want it laying there just right side click it and then move it around and then left click and then you can rotate and place it wherever you want and then just left click again to place it there I hope that made sense you hit escape to get out of it Whenever you need these bars at the top to pop up, you want to make sure that you click escape. See, when I click out of it, hit escape, and all of these will pop up up here. Now, after you got your breeding barn, you want to make sure that you get your workstation, your textile, and your furnace up. So you would go back into the ranch, hit build, Scroll all the way down and get your workshop. I don't have enough wood, but that's all right. I already got mine. And then once you've gotten that, place your textile and then get your furnace. I like to make sure that my workshop textile and furnace is near my house and everything, just like I do my water and my hay and everything like that. I want it to be near my house because you're kind of going back and forth between all of these on a regular basis. So you kind of want them near as much as possible. So I've got uh, plenty of barns up and everything. Some of them are bigger than others because I spent more wood on them. I got a couple of lamp posts up. You don't have to do that. It's all decoration but it does cost building then I got me a sign up I had a tree right here but I accidentally cut it whoops <laughs> now if you are into breeding and you're into showcasing your your mares that are um, pregnant I like to build like a little fence area and place my pastures out so it would be go into ranch build you can either lay down a pasture like this and then you can rotate it and you can do all that right or you can lay down right next to pasture it's called classic and it looks like this right here so once you lay it you can position it but the thing of it is, it doesn't turn like a barn does. So 
want to make sure you're scrolled in. It's kind of like the hay shed thing. Scroll in and you can move it around very easy without any issues at all. I can go back and forth, around and around, da 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 da. Okay. So what this one does, it, it just places one horse in it just like the pasture does, but it looks like it's, you know, within the building. It is nice, but it does cost more wood and everything than one of these regular pastures. And to use the pasture, you'll just go up to it, click on it, hit manage, find one of your horses, hit select, and it will place the horse right in there for you. No issues. Now this ranch is over in the jungle area near my club that I'm in. So the last time you saw my video, it was over at the fall forest because I do have three ranches there. So that way I can put some buckets up for my maple sap. And we'll discuss that later on down the line. But over here, I wanted to have three near my club area. Let's see if there's anything else. Oh, and then I also make sure that if you click on ranch and I go to view and I preview, that whole red area is my whole outline of my property here. So I wanted to make sure I placed a gate up around my property line and then where the road was, the kind of trail. Let's get out of this. Where the trail is, I wanted to make sure it was open so that way if anybody needed to come in or deliver mail to me, they could do so without having to jump my gate. So just keep that in mind. Make sure you have something open. If you don't want to put up a fence, an opening, then just kind of leave um, a little gap in between so that way it's easier for a person to get through. Although they could jump it, but it just looks, authentically, it just looks nicer. Trying to think if there's a few other things. Okay, so let's see. I do have some plants up. So I have this to place a tree right there just to make it look nicer. I have some info signs up just to tell you a little bit about my area and then what you're going to do next after you've gotten all the other stuff that I mentioned above you're going to want to make you a garden I'm going to go ahead and pick my garden real quick I planted a bunch of beets because there's a lot of vegetables that I need as far as making super feed for my horses and everything and we will definitely get into that a little bit later as well but in the in the meantime go ahead and put some gardens down and everything like that because you're going to do some planting and if you want to make super feed for yourself or put in your shop to sell you could do so or you can just sell your vegetables whichever you like to profit and make money gold dust within the game now what just popped up just now, Bullet Bean had went ahead and purchased everyone more energy, focus, and travel, which makes it so much, it makes it nice because of the fact that you do use your energy and focus and travel quite a bit. Let's see if there's an anomaly up. Yes, there is. So I'm going to hit. So if anytime that there is an anomaly always go to it because it will give you essence so if you see anything pop up that says an anomaly say yes to it and start going to it and I think I might have got here in time I'm not sure see how many minutes is left Nope, I got here right on time. Oh my goodness, okay. 
I didn't even have time to invite anybody. Now I'm going to go to my quick travel and travel back to where I was. So get your garden going and I will show you where to go as far as getting some seeds. So what you want to do is go to club and you can go to any club really that has an export or an import building. But I'm going to go to Performance Horse Association. And then you just want to quick travel to it. And once you get here, you'll go to the importer. And this is where you'll find your seeds at. So you can purchase corn, carrots, watermelon, pumpkin, lettuce, asparagus, beets, and your wool. You'll definitely want to get some wool if you're going to be planning on making uh, tack or clothing items. But the main seeds that you need are corn, carrots, beets, and pumpkin. The watermelon, lettuce, and asparagus is nice to have, but it's not something that's dire. You do not need it right away. So you'll get that, you'll go back to your garden, you'll click on it, hit plant, and you'll see like a whole list of your seeds pop up. So I'm going to go ahead and plant some more beets. Because right now I need four of those. Um, put some more carrots. And then we'll put a few corn. Okay. Now I have another garden over here. I'll go ahead and pick it. And replant. <laughs> Put some pumpkin in here. Okay, so now that you got your garden and your seeds growing, you don't have to water them. If you want them to grow faster, then water them with your bucket. But if you don't and you just want to gather them the next day, then just leave them alone. So after that, after your house, your hay shed, your water tower, your breeding barn, your barns, your workshop, your textile, your furnace, your garden, you want to go ahead and put up some storages. So I do believe in the beginning you can hold 500 stone and 500 wood. And each storage unit allows you to get 100 more. So one, just one storage laid down would make it 600. Then 700, 800, 900, 10, which is a thousand, and so on. I like to at least lay five of them down, but you can lay as many as you want. In the beginning, I would go ahead and lay at least two to four, and then you could just add on as you go. You really don't need more than, I would say, six of them, because by the time you collect items your energy is going to be all the way down so there is one important thing that I should have told you in the beginning and I forgot to tell you is if if and when you you try to you want to make sure that you try to run up on any type of club as soon as possible as soon as you are a beginner you know as you're running to a club, you can, you know, get some essence and get some gold dust and stuff like that. Most of the time you will zone into a club area anyway. 
and if they're set up like our club right now, most of the time, the new player will zone in at the new player welcome area, which is right here. And then what you're going to do is like, as soon as you come in, you want to just walk up and read their sign real quickly, see what it says, and then run over to this building here, which I'm going to show you. It looks like a book in front of the shop. So what you're going to do is you're going to run over here. You're going to click on it, hit use, and right here where it says tombs worthy of study and specialization, click on view. And if you're not a subscriber and you're just, you know, straight out of the box new, you're going to want either nimble or traveler now nimble helps you with your energy which i highly suggest getting first then second traveler then third horse trader so when you subscribe you know if you go to the shop it's five dollars for 500 mobia and 500 mobia will give you a month membership so just remember that it's five dollars for 500 mobia and it will give you a whole month membership if you become a member you'll be able to use two of these so definitely get traveler and nimble right in the beginning now let's see here Now, if you're looking for a club, you can go into the, down here where the chat is, you can go in the ads, I think it's ads, and you can ask or, you know, try to see if there's any clubs available that you can join. Once you get into a club, sometimes they will give you 10,000 gold to place a shop up. If they don't, then you're going to have to collect it yourself and everything. Now, once you want to place up a shop, you will go to one of these slab looking things on the ground. And you would just walk over to it. And what you would do is you would go over here and you would click on it and you would hit build or something like that. Right? And then your shop will be up and ready to go. So, let's say, okay, this is my shop over here. Say I went ahead and built it, right? Then you would go inside of it, look around. You can click manage. And you can place items that you want to sell. You give it a price. We'll just act like I'm going to do that. Where it says sell item for other prices that's where you would place your price and then what's in your inventory how many you have you would place right there then you would just set item stock and go on but this is where that you can you can kind of like start making money by placing things in your shop everybody's already bought everything the wood stone and super feed that i had in here now, if you have trouble finding out how much to place your wood as or your stone or super feed, you can go over to the club's shopping board, which is right here. Click on read. Search for items being sold. Click on other. Scroll down to the wood. Hit search. And then you'll see what people are selling their wood as so right now they're selling their wood at 200 210 and so on and some of them's 25 22 so that's how you can get a general idea of what you should be selling your items for just go in here search for the item being sold and so on now if you're wanting to breed with any studs, you would search for the breed stud service and you would like 
just look to find what horse that you're wanting to breed with. Same thing with um, if you want to purchase a horse, go to the one that says breeds being sold and do the same thing. You'll get the general idea like this right here is to make dyes. There's all kinds of different buildings. This building over here is to put a preventative on your horse so that way, you know, it doesn't get hurt. If it does get hurt, you're going to have to go back to the vet and pay for that horse um, to get healed. And then this with the hammer is called the auction house. You can purchase horses in here with your gold dust. You can also put your horses in here for auction at a certain price. So, you know, just be careful on that. A lot of times it's just better to trader them than it is to put them in the auction. And what I mean by trader, anytime you see a horse with the dollar sign on it, you can go right up to it and you can sell any of your horses for 300 gold dust. But that is until you get the, the tome that I was talking about over here, which was the trader one. Okay. This one right here, horse trader. Once you get this tome, you need to start learning how to trader your horses, how to put them in a category, like a rank to take them to different traders, which is the horse symbol with the dollar sign, to get better money for them. And you will learn that eventually later down the line, for sure. But I'm not really sure if there's anything else to tell you at this moment. We went over the house, the barns, the work, shop, the textile, the furnace, the shed, the water, the hay fields, um, the breeding barn, the garden, the seeds, the wool. We went over if you're in the club, place in the shop to get your to tome out, your tomes. I can't talk today, um, which should be the first thing. Making sure you're getting gold dust and you're getting essences. Um, yeah, I think, I think I kind of covered a little bit more than what I needed to. Um, but yeah, I hope that this video helps a bit. I will try to come out with more information and more things as time goes on. But until now, um, I hope y'all have a great day. If you like this video, give it a like down below. Leave me a comment if you got on this game due to these videos or you know, word of mouth, however you got onto this game. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.